And our team coverage continues with 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon. And Lindsay, the families of most victims not saying much about this latest filing. And a lot of those family members are from outside of the area, including victims. So they are just now learning about this. They have to hear the exact details from the district attorney's office. And then once this comes around on Monday, they will be able to comment more. Now, I did reach out to one family member of Jessica Gawi. That is her brother, Jordan. He just tweeted this out a little more than an hour ago, saying, I am not making any comments on the potential plea deal until after the hearing. Family members of the victims tell me the DA will speak to all of them before the prosecution accepts any plea deal. This is video from when they joined together during efforts to resolve the victim's assistance fund. Now, this will likely be a lengthy discussion considering some of these victims are adamant that Holmes get the death penalty, penalty while others would rather he plead guilty and go to prison to end all of this. The sister of Alex Sullivan, who was also killed, says her family is still waiting to hear on the details of the plea, but says, quote, we have full faith in the district attorney to do what is right for this case as well as for all of the victims involved and not just my family. I actually just got off the phone with Megan's dad, Tom. He is the father of Alex Sullivan, who was also killed. And Tom told me that, yes, he would like to see the death penalty. I asked him if this maybe in some way brings some sort of uh, closure helps move the legal process along. He said the word closure is not in his vocabulary. Every time he hears the words Aurora Theater shooting, all he can think about is his son Alex. Live in the newsroom, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. Now, 7 News will be in the courtroom on Monday for James Holmes' next appearance. You can follow us on Twitter and on the 7 News app for real-time updates as that hearing plays out.